So he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical. Over the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level. Coming up next, it is a heavyweight collision between Kimbo Slice and John Jones. So here he is, UFC light heavyweight champion times two, future Hall of Famer, a man you know as well as anyone, DC, Johnny Bones Jones. John Jones is one of those talents that when you see him for the first time, you understand that he is something special. He has a very strong mind, unbelievable skill set, and an ability to rise to the occasion. He did it from the moment he first stepped foot in the octagon as a very young fighter to his long championship reign. Some of the victims on John Jones' resume is unbelievable to have beaten that many UFC champions over the course of his career. John Jones truly is one of the greatest martial artists of all time. Skill for skill, one of the best fighters you will ever see, and very loyal when it comes to his team. He has been with Mike Winkle, John, and Greg Jackson since day one. John Jones trying to add to arguably the greatest mixed martial arts legacy the sport has ever seen here and now tonight. All right, DC, here he is, the one, the only, don't call him Kevin Ferguson. He, of course, is Kimbo Slice. And when we're talking about mixed martial arts and its footprint in the United States of America, Kimbo Slice is a guy who deserves a lot of credit for this mass expansion, at least in my mind. Absolutely, because when Kimbo Slice fought, people tuned in from the Ultimate Fighter to his days outside of the UFC. Some of the biggest TV ratings we've ever experienced are attributed to Kimbo Slice. He's a guy that people just want to see. From the backyard brawls to the octagon, Kimbo Slice is very special. And probably the nicest guy you would ever want to meet, except look like it. when that octagon door <laughs> he doesn't closes. Look like exactly. it, but he is a great guy. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So two years, the gap in age, with similar height, but big differences in reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner. This man is a look see do fighter, holding a professional record of 27 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, presenting the former UFC light heavyweight champion, John Bones Jones! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of five wins, two losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Kimbo! Slice! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. Are you ready? Ready? Off the expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. All right, here we go. First round is on. Oh, how about the transition to the ankle pick? Now we will see where he goes from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Effective punch there by Jones. Oh, a combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target there. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Jones' lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh, what goes up must come down as he slams him right on the canvas. Huge moment in the round. It excites me to watch somebody land those types of technique. The impact of that slam takedown was felt at the desk and in the first couple rows. 
Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on him. He's going to attack armbar here. You got to recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you got to move him off. And this might just be a matter of time. Crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five to a place. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. All right, he engages in the single power side. Big punch from the clinch. Oh, he better start moving. He can't take too many of those uppercuts. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the top. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, no. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Well, we talked about his reach advantage. He's hurt bad. Entry to get Man, him on a single. That was a great single. Oh. Big slam take down. That was beautiful. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Okay, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Jones has just got full mount now. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Oh, looks like he's transitioning an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jiu-jitsu guys. And attack an armbar. He might get a finish here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Submission beautifully executed there on the ground. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground. DC, talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Leon has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, six. All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on the side, but maybe. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is gonna be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Nice punch there. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Jones has got the tie clinch now. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage. It's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going tonight. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems, trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. That kick blocked by Slice. Jones gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot. He didn't like that left hand. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Trying to stay in this fight. Oh, he got the boat of the target very quickly. Shot a double leg. Oh, slams him down with conviction. Man. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. Way to hide that leg kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? If your opponent has you in the clinch, 
pull it down on your... Hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. Two minutes now to go in the opening round. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Now it's his mount. Both fighters back to their feet now. Elbow. Slice gets caught with that punch. Well, the strike lands there, but doesn't do a ton of damage because the fighter's cooked. Yeah, he's done. He's thrown everything with it with absolute power. And now it does not matter how many times you jam on that X button. It will not do any damage. Big power shot there. Head kick. Got the single collar tie. Bleeding from his cheek now. Round two next. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lots for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. edge and reach, and he made good use of it there. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical. Oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change, making him think you're going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Rotates the lock and throws him way through the air. What a massive takedown. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. He got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's going to try to move his left arm. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. And this might just be a matter of time. Absolutely, he finishes his opponent by way of submission. 